What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's up, people? I'm back again in all my glory. You know, I'm kicking the five o'clock shadow thing. Uh, it's Sunday. I don't do anything on Sunday. Sunday, and for all you people out there, Sunday is my, my recognized cheat day where... I don't go to the gym, I take the seventh day off, the Sabbath off, and I can eat whatever I want to eat on Sunday. And then Monday we're back in the business, we're back in the building, we're silverback season, it's the silverback alert, and all that good stuff in the gym. So today is just, today is Sunday, I do, like I said, I do my videos on the weekends when I have off, and I just get busy, so I'm doing my videos now. And today I'm shocked, man, I'm shocked this finally, some 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 of these Democrats, I don't know where they, I don't know where they were. I don't know where these jellyfishes grew a backbone all of a sudden. But uh, the, the, a couple of a lot of Senate Democrats, uh, they blocked the motion to the, the, uh, to debate the fast track of, of the, the, the the Pacific Rail trade deal, whatever that's called, the age or whatever. You know what I'm talking about. The, the Obama wanted, wanted to push it. So he, he thought it was going to automatically slide through. So he wanted to fast track it. So they had their, their, their motion. And the, the Senate block, I mean, the Senate Democrats blocked the debate, the motion to debate the fast track in the Asian trade union. The, I forget the name of the trade union myself. I'm sorry. But uh, what got me is I'm going to talk about I want the, the D, a lot of the DNC members that, uh, that, um, that, that stood up. I, I was shocked because usually Obama gets what he wants out of the DNC. Obama could say, you know, I want your firstborn child, and DNC members are thrown, you know, kids down the Potomac River. You know what I'm saying? But uh, but I swear to well, then again, if you look at it this way, it's, it's a trade, it's a trade bill with foreign countries. If you look through the history of trade bill with foreign countries, politicians know. Number one, yeah, they work, but they work for the guys in the offices and up. They don't work for the regular schmucks like you and me. Because what happens is, remember NAFTA? Remember when Bill Clinton signed it as a part of, of good spirits and bipartisanship when everybody was like, like all the work people were like, don't fucking sign that. What are you doing? And then he said that was his one major regret in the office since he signed NAFTA. But if you look at all these trade agreements, the Caribbean, we got to, do we still have the Caribbean agreement? I don't know if we will, now with Havana, we might be, but uh, that's the only one who I would get, I would go for it, I would do the Caribbean one, because I know they're not moving them up and down there. But uh, back to the back, to, I'm just going off a tangent right here, but uh, back to like your hand. If you look at these trade agreements, all, most of the trade agreements, they work after, they say they a lot of them bring jobs. Here, here's what happened. You look at NAFTA. NAFTA bought jobs, but NAFTA bought jobs paying minimum wage. NAFTA bought jobs after you had to get laid off for three years after you get to your training. NAFTA was nothing nice. NAFTA caused a lot of people to move out of the areas they didn't want to move, but like you have to do what you have to do to eat. But a lot of these trade agreements are no good until down the road after you get your training and you get your you get your skills updated and stuff like that. And a lot of these politicians know if I'm there when this trade agreement fails, my job's along the line. That's what a lot of politicians are starting to find out nowadays. A trade agreement, no bueno. And like unless you're Republicans, a trade agreement for the Democrats is like no bueno. Because they know people realize, well look man, you signed that. You know, I just lost my job, or old Frank down the street lost his job with the tuna mill. And who was in office? It don't matter. If you, it don't matter if you tried to filibuster this or the third. You were in office when it happened, so you're gonna get kicked down. They're gonna bring someone in. That's a lot of Democrats are afraid. They're not doing it for the moral conscience. They're doing it for the fact that they can keep their phony baloney jobs. You know. Oh yeah, the Pacific Partnership. That's I think that's what the cornball name is, something like that. The Pacific Partnership. But uh, from like I said, from my experience, any trade agreement 
it's, it's a no go with a lot of Democrats because they, like I said, if you look at the past trade agreements, everyone that went south, the person in office got replaced unless they weren't a lifetime, like one like like a Senator Byrd or a, maybe our inspector or maybe a, um, Harry Reid. Strong, strong, strong term. You have to be one of those type of dudes and not lose your job. And an inspector came close to losing his job. So I'm out. But like, watch these trade agreements. They're going to try to get pushed. They're going to try to push this one through. You need to be aware. Be aware. So I'm out. Peace.